People were here again, you know. <laughs> Listen, me know I'm not tired for hear me. See? It? So me just go and put in the work and put out information. Yeah. Um, we'll be talking about the Panam games in this one. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know that uh the Jamaicans would have been at the Panam games. Uh none of the what you'd call it big name at oh hold on people. You like the video yet? Yeah, man, like the content, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new so that you can become a part of the Coach's Desk family. Yeah, man. Deal with the thing now. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, man, like, share, subscribe to the channel. So, we're at the Panam Games, and most times, the countries that are top-notch uh, athletic com uh, countries or track and field, I would say, they don't normally send their top guns at the Panam Games uh, because, you know, it is a means of actually what you'd call it. Mm, probably showcasing the, the, the lesser talent, so to speak. And then you have the big name athletes are probably preparing for the season ahead. So certainly you wouldn't have these athletes at this uh, competition but it it is a good look to to see um teams enter in this competition nevertheless and we look forward to having the fringe athletes attending these events and doing what they do um we have not been having a lot of success on the track in the field we got a few medals and um definitely we look forward to uh see uh, I mean, if we if Jamaica send a strong team and uh, to the Panam Games, of course you know we're gonna dominate, right? But um, so let's talk about Jahil Hyde. Went to World Championship, didn't do so well. His former training partner made the final and out um, shone him. So definitely uh it would have been a reprieve for jaheel hyde a matter of fact it is the first gold medal that jamaica is actually winning at this pan-american game yeah so he has actually won the first gold medal for jamaica and uh, for persons who don't know the game is over there in santiago chile yeah man he won Jamaica's first gold medal. Um, that is a few uh, minutes or moments ago. Um, he clocked up creditable time of 49.19. And let's zoom in a little bit on that time because if Jail really wants to compete with the world, uh, incidentally, he's training in Texas. He's training in the United States. Um, he left Jamaica, I think, last year to train in the United States. But back to the time, if Jahil Hyde wants to actually compete with the world beaters like a Russian Clark, who is actually nominated uh, by the World Athletics for a rising star, you know what I mean? It, it is a good look for him. He has to get in that 47 um, bracket. There, there, there's no two ways about it. I mean, this is a late time of the season um this can be a preparation for him going into the uh, olympic games but if jai Hyde really wants to complete compete at the highest level with these top-notch athletes he has to get down in the 47. Earls has changed significantly and if you want to get uh going you have to run in 47. that that's basically the benchmark right now you understand so he won in 49 um 19 uh in the 400 meter hurdles final J jamaica's tally to at the games is actually five medals five medals and this is the first gold medal so big up to 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 jail hyde brazil matthias lima took the silver in 49 69 uh cuba's yola Eas claim the bronze in 49.74. In, in in the grand scheme of things, when you look at the 400 meter hurdle, these are pedestrian time. <laughs> Sad to say, but we welcome the gold medal. We welcome the gold medal. 
and these are some of the things that um we 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 want to outline because you know athletes tend to put out their best and winning a gold medal is 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 f f far supersedes um what you'd call it time you know what i mean no jahil i definitely said that he did not execute a perfect race and this is what i just mentioned sometimes there are a lot of uh what you call it nuances a lot of variables a lot of setback in a race that will cause at least to run slow or you know you know what i mean so that is a situation um he said it wasn't a perfect race and um he dedicated the win however to his three-year-old daughter big up to um jail hide uh daughter um i guess she's the inspiration behind this uh medal gold medal winning uh run from jail hide and uh definitely it, it it is a good look for him i mean this this is a conf this is a confidence boots if you ask me going into next season this this might motivate him to step up the notch step up the training a little bit more try and, and execute because we all know that the, the the four hurdles are the sprint hurdle arithmetic event you have, you have to get your stride length your stride pattern to to the t your cadence have to be there in terms of your execution um a lot of things your landing has to be on point it's a technical event and you can't go around it being a technical event so when he when the athletes say that they did not you know what you'd call it execute well trust me to run a perfect race in a four hurdles <laughs> it's it's always difficult to do they, they might uh go close perfect race but even the top runners when you look at them sprinting you, you, you will not get everything on par in 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 that run but big up to jay Lide on that gold medal um jamaica's other medalists um are cyclist delia palmer disco throwers samantha hall and frederick frederick let me pronounce it correctly frederick dakers and wrestler aaron uh johnson who all won bronze medals so big up to jay Lide eking out a gold medal there can't ask him for anything uh more um it's a late season and let's see how he goes back into this season in preparation for the 2024 olympic games your thoughts on this one people until next time stay safe peace out